Would you like to send a signed document that is branded to your company? Let me show you how to edit and customize our sign document templates to fit your brand. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And if you currently have a PDF document that you need signed, we can head up to that top left-hand corner where it says my forms, and we're going to click on my sign documents. Then in the top left-hand corner, create signed document, and we can upload that document right here and choose upload document. Now, the only drawback to that is if your document doesn't have the branding or colors that fit your brand, you're not going to be able to customize it or edit it within JotForm. So the best way to do this instead is to use one of our templates. So let's go ahead and head back. Let's choose a template. Now, what you might want to do is utilize the search options to find a document that's already set up that is similar to the one that you're going to need signed. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one page lease agreement. Now, from this view, if I need to add fields for the signing process, on the left-hand side, I would choose add fields here. But we are wanting to change the way this document looks. So we're gonna head to the right-hand side of the screen over here where it says edit template. Now this is going to still feel very familiar to our form builder and in that previous screen we were in over on the left hand side if we need to add any of these elements text heading image line a signature space an empty space a box or a page break we can do that here so let's say i would like to put a line right in here and we can see that these grid lines pop up so we can ensure that everything is aligned correctly and there is our line but over on the right hand side, we have another paintbrush. So if we click on that paintbrush, this is going to bring up the PDF designer. And this is where we can really make it fit our brand. So the first step, we have the page background. So if we want to change the color of this PDF, maybe we want to make it a little pink, we can do that. Or maybe we have a background image, like a watermark that sits in the back. You can do that. We can change the question alignment from the top to the left. We can change the question style. This is where we can change that font family from Roboto. Maybe you want it to be Arial. Perfect. Right here, it changed. I'm going to go ahead and change it back to Roboto. Perfect. We can change the font size, the style. We can even come down here to the answer style. And if we want, we can choose to apply the changes that we made to the question style to the answer style. But if you want to get those changed, you want them to look a little bit different, we can uncheck that. And then we can change this to Arial instead of Roboto. But if we keep going down, we get to change the line spacing from compact to medium to large. So let's go ahead and choose medium and then large. So we can see it's starting to kind of push that line spacing. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back on compact. I think that looked great. We also have page numbers. So if you'd like page numbers, you get to choose where we want these to be right now. It's in the bottom right. So we see right here, we have one page, we have margins, and then we can also create this as a template. So we don't have to do this again. But if we head back up to the top, we have this Acme. All we need to do is just remove this image and then upload our own file to fit our branding. But it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use our sign templates and make them fit more your brand, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you liked this video and you got some value, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.